Hello Libra, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general energy reading. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind Libra that this is a general reading so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't as this is not going to resonate with everyone. Also this is a timeless reading. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates then that's the message for you in that moment. Yes? All right. So for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, let's get into this and see what messages we have for you at this moment, Libra. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list all of the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested, and I will get you all hooked up. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links to that can be found in the description box below as well. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Yeah, Libra? All right, let's get into this. I'm going to give this two more shuffles for you, Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. And we will see what messages we have for you at this time. Yeah. Last shuffle here, Libra. Uh, I want to say, um, as I've been connecting with your energy since I started recording this video, and I've been sh uh, shuffling here, I've been seeing yellow for you, all right? So I feel like you're really activated. I feel like you're in a time of, uh, uh, of action. I just heard action is taking place. Um, uh, you may have a plan that you have developed, or you just have a... I want to say you have a plan of action. I don't know if like you've really like um, written down, you know, a bunch of stuff and now you're following the plan to a T, although you may have. I just feel like you have you're motivated in some way to move forward towards some sort of end goal. Um, and I just feel like right now you're very much in the heat of that. You're in the thick of it. You are very much. Um, Good Lord, that's vulgar. But what Spirit just said was you are balls deep in this in this plan. In act. <laughs> Hi, Libra. All right, let's get into this. So let's see what we've got for you. What messages do we have for Libra at this time? I feel like whatever it is we're going to be talking about here has to do with this plan or this goal of yours. But let's see. First card you have is the Four of Cups. Okay. What's going on for Libra at this time? Please, Spirit, what messages do we have for Libra? Ace of Pentacles. All right. Last card, one last card for Libra, please. And the Ten of Wands. But actually, the Ten of Wands was reversed. So we're going to leave it that way. Overall energy is the Two of Wands. Yep. All right. So what we are talking about here, Libra, is in fact this plan that you have going for you. Okay. Uh, we're starting you off with the Four of Cups. This is absolutely why you are taking a leap of faith. I, I, ooh, okay. Taking a leap of faith, but you're moving in a certain direction. There is something about your life currently that is not satisfactory to you. You don't, uh, for some of you, this is an actual relationship that you no longer want to be a part of. It's, um, it's fizzled out. You're no longer invested in this any longer. Uh, for, for a lot of you here, I do feel like if this is, a specific romantic relationship, soulmate bond, I do feel like you're doing the right thing in terms of saying to yourself or having come to an understanding of, I don't want to be in this relationship any longer. I don't want to be in this circumstance any longer. Whatever it is that this person or these people I just heard, okay, whatever it is that this person or these people have to give me, have to offer me, I just don't want it any longer. And so it feels like you're doing the right thing in instead of like cheating or like trying to go out and get what it is you want or need secretly you're just like let me just remove myself from this situation i want something new ace of pentacles here all right this ace of pentacles feels like your plan your goal your desire what it is you're working towards what it is you're building towards the steps that you are taking to bring whatever this is into fruition for you and then finally you have the ten of wands in reverse um Lack of burden. You're releasing the burdens. I feel like you've been in some sort of some type of situation for a quite a long time. Whether this is a relationship or a circumstance, um, it's been very burdensome on you. And you've been in it for quite a while. You've been carrying this burden for quite a while. Okay. And ultimately you've gotten to the point now where it's just like I'm fed up. Four of cups is what that feels like. I just heard I just heard that energy say that. I'm fed up. I don't want to be in a part of this situation any longer. I don't want to have to accept 
what it is you are offering me, knowing full well this is not what I want, need, and or deserve. And quite frankly, Libra, all you really needed to do, like this situation hinged on you just deciding whether you wanted to be a part of it or not any longer. Overall energy for you right now is that two of wands, that decision. You literally just had to decide. You had to either continue taking whatever it is was being offered to you or say, no, I don't want that any longer. I want something new. The situation hinged on you making a decision for yourself. And of course, I fully understand that in speaking to a Libra in energy, that really was the hardest part about all of this, making the decision. Because a lot of the time, Libra, especially when there, there are other people involved, um, it's difficult for Libra to make decisions sometimes. One of the pitfalls or one of the not so beneficial aspects of Libra and energy is that you are susceptible or you can be susceptible to indecision. So while it seems so simple that I'm sitting here saying this whole situation hinged on the fact of you, whether you choosing whether you wanted to be a part of it or not, but why that, while that sounds so simple, in many cases, it probably, cases, it probably was not that simple was not simple at all. May have seemed to be one of the hardest decisions or a hardest situations you have been uh, associated with or have found yourself in in your whole life, if we want to be dramatic about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, let's clarify this Four of Cups. Clarify the Four of Cups for Libra, please, Spirit. What is this Four of Cups energy? The Ten of Swords. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Clarify uh, Four of Cups, please. Two more cards for Libra for this Four of Cups. Knight of Cups. And finally, one last card, please, for this Four of Cups for Libra. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Oh, wow. Okay. And then the Ace of Swords is your overall energy. See, um, this is what helped you make the decision, Libra. Okay. Uh, this between the eight, well, okay, the Ace of Swords is that decision, is that moment where you decided or where you were finally solid or on the fact of, or you finally figured out, no, this is actually not what I want. I, I feel like whatever this situation or circumstance has been or was for you, Libra, you worked really hard at it. And you worked so hard at it, you kept yourself in this situation to the full detriment of yourself. You have this Ten of Swords here, okay? And what I'm getting from the Ten of Swords is that you worked tirelessly. I mean, you tried and tried and tried. You just refused to give up. And that really hurt you. That got you stabbed, that shot got you nicked and, and, and slashed and beaten down and bruised and battered in so many different ways. I really truly hope that's not physical. I hope this was not a physically abusive situation. If it, if, if it was, my condolences, I'm so sorry and I am so glad you're getting out of that. Um, but this could be mentally, this could be emotionally, this could be spiritually, I mean figuratively, you know what I mean? But this was a, this was a rough and tumble situation. And ultimately, something happened in which your heart rose up. Knight of Cups. Something about this situation got your heart to say, I'm not in this any longer. And then you have this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse in this situation for you, Libra, is resonating as I no longer want to build in this situation. I no longer want to work towards this situation. This may have been a long term. This may have been a relationship in which... You had visions of, you know, the ultimate family life, you know, the white picket fence or what blah, 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 blah whoop de whoop and all that bullshit, right? Like you were working towards a life together, okay? Maybe this was a career circumstance for you. It's, it's any situation, Libra, in which you had to put in an extended amount of time, attention, effort, and energy. But ultimately, your heart came online somehow rose up knight of cups and maybe it's just the fact that you went through such a debilitating experience that it broke you down to the point where your heart really could 
speak clearly or speak to you in terms of this situation because your effort and energy that you were putting into this may have been a head over heart type of situation. No, I just got to stick it out. No, I got to see this through. I made this commitment. I need to follow through with this. I need to see it out to the end. You are never going to get to the end, Libra. In some cases or in many cases, there was no end or there is no end in sight. Or this was just the type of circumstance which in which you got into it and realized, oh my God, I'm never going to make it through this for whatever reason. And that's not coming from a place of a lack mentality. That's coming from like a very real optimistic, down to earth, grounded point of view. Like, no, there, no, this isn't going to work. But ultimately your heart was able to come through and say, I don't want to work towards this any longer. And that's where the truth comes out. Ace of Swords. That's when you realize, nope, I don't want to accept this any longer. I don't want to be involved with this any longer. Four of Cups. Okay. Let's talk about the Ace of Pentacles then. Clarify the eight. Wait, hold on. Yeah, okay. See, I was I, I was I was guided to look at the bottom of the deck, and I'm gonna do that. Uh, we're still talking about this four of cups clarification. Ace of Swords, Five of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. You clearly understood. You clearly got to the understanding, Libra, that this was a lose-lose situation and you were not being honored here, Queen of Pentacles. You were not receiving that which you were putting it back. You were not receiving back that which you were putting into this situation. Certain individuals in this situation or your partner, whatnot, whatever, was not keeping up at the end, the end, their end of the bargain. You were being used. Or... You realized, Ace of Swords, that this was a lose-lose situation, Five of Swords, and because you had respect for yourself, you decided to walk away. Or because you were able to gain uh, a, a, some level of respect for yourself. Maybe this situation caused you to have, some, uh, have a greater amount of respect for yourself. Either way, that caused you to say, no, I don't want to be a part of this any longer. Okay, uh, instead of going to the Ace of Pentacles next, I actually want to go to the Ten of Wands next. And actually, I want to, I want to, I want, I want to do this. That feels better because you went, you, you, you realized you got to the part of the situation where it was like Ace of Swords. I don't want to be a part of this collective experience any longer. That's what I just heard. Take that as it resonates. Even if it's just, a, even if it is, Libra, a romantic relationship or a romantic experience or like a, a, a relationship with one other person, there is still an amount of, or there is still a degree of a collective experience involved with this. Because collectively, there have been a lot of people that are going through either the same or a similar situation with you. It's a collective experience in that all of these different souls are experiencing a, the same or a similar situation in order for all of us to learn from it. I know that's that's pretty out there, but that's what I heard. So some of you understand what I'm saying there. Okay, but you realize, Ace of Swords, the truth of the matter is you don't want to be involved with this any longer. Four of Cups, and thus you drop the burdens. Ten of Wands reversed. Now also, the Ten of Wands reversed could represent you needlessly continuing to carry these burdens for much longer than you actually needed to. Because for some of you, maybe you figured out you didn't want to be a part of this much earlier than you think or much earlier than you wanted to admit, and yet something kept you sticking with it. But I want to, I want to point out, you have 10, 10, 10 here, 10 of pentacles, 10 of swords, 10 of wands. That was big completion. And Libra, I feel like your sense of indecisiveness may have really gotten to, to the, the best of you here. Because like I said, some of you figured out or understood or realized that you did not want to be a part of this situation any longer quite quickly. But you didn't allow yourself to make the appropriate changes. You were like, no, I'm sticking it out. I made this commitment. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick it out. I'm going to see this through to the detriment of you. Okay. Ten of Wands reversed. Clarify the Ten of Wands reversed for Libra, please, Spirit. The Hermit. Clarify the Ten of Wands reversed for Libra. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, see? Sticking it out. One last card, please. The Knight of Swords. And the Five of Wands. As your overall energy. You know, um... 
at this point now, sure, the Ten of Wands was reversed for a while because some of you were like, no, I got to stick it through. I got to force myself to carry this burden. But ultimately, it came down to you figuring out, you, you getting some sort of energy of understanding your inner light or understanding your truth or the hermit here deciding or choosing to follow your inner guidance. Fuck the naysayers. Fuck what everyone else has to say. Fuck all these other opinions that are being thrown at you, that are being that are telling you you need to stick this out, whatnot, whatever. What does your inner light say? And your inner light says, get me the hell up out of here. Nine of wands and the knight of swords. Get me out of here. I'm done with this. I don't want to be a part of this any longer. You aggressively fought your way out. Or it may seem like it's aggressive. It may seem like it's out of character for you. You are normally a very peaceful, loving, caring, compassionate individual and being. And it's not like you're not being loving, caring, compassionate at this point. You actually are. But that love and that care and that compassion is being held for yourself and is being channeled into aggressively getting yourself out of this situation regardless as to what others have to say about it, five of wands. But also that five of wands energy is resonating as working out a way to release yourself, to get to be done with this, to get out of here. Okay, now, now let's talk about that ace of pentacles. Ace of pentacles for Libra, please. Four of swords. You know there's a new opportunity coming towards you. You know, you know this for a fact, Libra. Okay, four of pentacles, I'm sorry, four of swords to the four of wands. You have the creative foundation within you. You have the spiritual understanding that you need. You have the understanding of yourself and what it is that you want. Okay, you have that understanding. And thus with this four of swords here, you have a clear mind and you're staying clear, calm, and as focused as you possibly can. Okay, meditation is helping you, but you are manifesting this new reality through this four of swords, four of wands energy. One last card for the ace of pentacles for Libra, please. Two of swords. Okay, overall energy is the seven of wands. Yeah, you are, you are Libra. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. You're not, you're not taking any bullshit, first of all. Okay. Your boundaries are up. You are very clear on where it is, what it is you want and where it is you're going and maybe even how to manifest this. But I, what I really get here, Libra, is in terms of this Ace of Pentacles energy. Now, either this is advice that you need to take or this is actually where you find yourself in the moment. But you need to be as very clear, calm and focused within your mind as possible. Meditation is seriously going to help you or it seriously is helping you. OK, because that's keeping you clear on your manifestation. That's keeping you clear on the foundation that you've come to in terms of what it is you want to move forward towards, what it is you want to manifest in your life next. And with this two of swords energy, this is all about not focusing on what is going on in the exterior in the physical world, in the world around you, because that is not a direct reflection of what it is you are manifesting, the new that is manifesting in your life. It is not reflecting that yet because your physical reality needs more time to catch up to what your spiritual reality dictates, what your inner reality dictates, what your creative inner reality is dictating or is manifesting for you. No, 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 what you are manifesting for yourself. Okay, so stay very clear on this. Do not get wrapped up in the illusion of the Maya. Okay, do not get wrapped up in the illusion of the external reality because it is an illusion, Libra. Remember that. It is an illusion. It is a hologram. It is absolutely a hologram and it is a direct reflection of your internal reality. So stay focused in terms of that internal reality. Stay clear of mind. Clear out the clutter. I'm not saying you're not going to have difficult days. I'm not saying where you're not that you're not going to have days where your mind may run up and run a little amok, or there are some negative uh, memories or feelings that come come up to the surface. 
I'm not saying that isn't going to happen, nor am I saying that you should fight against that. Go with the flow. But also keep intact or keep in touch with your meditation practice, whatever it is that you do, uh, some sort of art, some sort of craft, some sort of hobby, whatever it is that you do to clear your mind and get stabilized there, continue with that practice, okay? Because you are in the right place. You are manifesting clearly and beautifully. Okay. Okay. Let's get your oracle guidance. And I'm going to close this out. I'm actually being guided to go with the pure magic oracle for you. Yeah? All right. Closing oracle guidance for my Librans. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node. Let's see what we've got for Libra. Closing messages for Libra, please, spirit. Closing messages for Libra. Last shuffle here. All right, Libra. Let's see what we've got for you. Closing message for this Libra reading. Closing message for my Libra. Please do it. got two. Card number nine, Vervain, uh, Vervain, Everlasting, Spellbound, Soul Alignment, Release, Protection, and card number six, Hecate's Path, Cycle of Life, Night Magic, Crossroads, Letting Go. These are quite appropriate. Um, and I also... I, I want to point out here that, <laughs> okay, yes, we do have 69 here. <laughs> okay, get your jollies in there. But, <laughs> but six and nine to me are mirror images of each other. Now, what exactly does that mean in terms of this situation? I don't know. I just wanted to point that out there. But there is a common theme between these two, these two cards. Number six, card number six, Hecate's Path, letting go. Card number nine, Vervain Everlasting, release. Okay, let's start with card number six. Okay, we're going to read the pure wisdom part of these cards. So, Hecate's Path. You are asked to let go of what is familiar, safe, and comfortable in order to break the stagnant wheel and discover new opportunities that lie within ahead. That excuse me, that lie waiting ahead. What is dead is gone, and a new path must begin its process in order to continue the cycle again. Birth, death, and rebirth. You are guided to delve deeper into your spiritual path and remember that soul truths hidden inside your cosmic makeup and to aid recovery of those soul truths you have hidden from others. Let me say that again. You are guided to delve deeper into your spiritual path and remember the soul truths hidden inside your cosmic makeup and to aid recovery of those soul truths you have hidden from others. It is time to transform from the old self and walk your truth for yourself and for your legacy. Why, why are we, why are we not? There we go. Okay. And then finally we have card number nine. Vervain Everlasting. The pure wisdom of this card says... The plant spirit of Vervain urges you to release your mental and physical strain as it works to ease your internal wounds and soften your fears. 
It calls you to be brutally honest with yourself and to remember to stay in alignment with your heart's calling in life. That's that four of swords, four of wands, two of swords energy with the seven of wands as the overall in terms of your ace of pentacles. Yes? Let me say that again. It calls you to be brutally honest with yourself and to remember to stay in alignment with your heart's calling in life. You are not without assistance from the earth as Vervain creates a gateway for you to break through the barriers that arise and rediscover the healing and joy on the horizon. Prioritize your energy and remember to nourish yourself with self-care. Do not choose escape from your spiritual path. Choose instead to protect your heart's happiness. Ooh, I hit the camera. Beautiful, Libra. So there you have it. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you will find a list of the readings that I offer, including my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be very happy to get you all hooked up. Uh, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links to that can be found in the description box below if you so choose, if you don't mind. And if you would like to get extra content with me throughout the month, if you would like to support the channel and potentially even get a discount on your personal readings, Follow or join the Unicorn Herd over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. That's a really great way to get extra content with me throughout the month that does not appear here on YouTube. And it's also a really great way to support the channel. A big thank you and a big shout out goes out, goes out to all of my current Patreoners. Without you guys, it would not be possible for me to be here. With that said, I hope you have a fantastic day, Libra, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.